using an icebox. Example 2. Calculating the value of the equilibrium concentrations. The equilibrium constant for the reaction above is 64.0 at 150 degrees Celsius. If 1.00 mole of CO2 and 2.00 moles of H2 are placed in a 10.0 liter container with 0 0.500 moles of H2O at 150 degrees Celsius and allowed to come to equilibrium, determine the equilibrium concentration of each of the four gases. Since we are looking for equilibrium values of the concentration and we're given initial values for the moles and the value of K, we need to use an icebox. We begin the icebox setup with the reaction. CO gas plus H2O gas in equilibrium with CO2 gas plus H2 gas. Our icebox has its usual three rows and five columns. The problem tells us we have 1.00 moles of CO2, 2.00 moles of H2, and 0 0.500 moles of H2O all in a 10.0 liter container. So the initial concentrations are For CO2, 0 0.100 mole. For H2, 0 0.200 molar. For H2O, 0 0.0500 molar. We start with no CO, so its concentration is 0 molar. So the first row of the icebox becomes For CO, 0 molar. For H2O, 0 0.0500 molar. For CO2, 0 0.100 molar. For H2, 0 0.200 molar. We have the balanced equation. And since we have three of the substances, but no CO, we need to make some CO to reach equilibrium. This means that the concentrations of the products will decrease and the concentrations of the reactants will increase. So the changes become for CO plus X, for H2O plus X, for CO2 minus X, and for H2 minus X. The second row of the icebox becomes plus X for both CO and H2O, and minus X for both CO2 and H2. Now we can fill in the third row of the table. The equilibrium concentrations will be for CO, X. For H2O, 0 0.0500 plus X. For CO2, 0 0.100 minus X and for H2, 0 0.200 minus X. So the third row of the table becomes X for CO, 0 0.0500 plus X for H2O, 0 0.100 minus X for CO2, and 0 0.200 minus X for H2. Since we're given the value for the equilibrium constant K, we need to substitute the last row into the equilibrium expression and solve the equation for X. The equilibrium expression is K equals concentration of CO2 times the concentration of H2 divided by the concentration of CO multiplied by the concentration of H2O. Substituting the value of K and the last row of the table into the equilibrium expression, we get 64.0 equals 
0 0.100 minus x times 0 0.200 minus x divided by x times 0 0.0500 plus x. Clearing the denominator, we get 64.0 times x times 0 0.500 plus x equals 0 0.100 minus x times 0 0.200 minus x. Expanding the polynomials, we get 3.20x plus 64.0x squared equals 0 0.0200 minus 0 0.300x plus x squared. Condensing it into a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, we get 63.0x squared plus 3.50x minus 0 0.0200 equals 0. Using the quadratic equation to solve for x, we get two answers. x equals positive 0 0.00522 and x equals negative 0 0.0608. Since we started with no CO, the correct value must be the positive value for x, positive 0 0.00522. So the values of the equilibrium concentrations are CO, 0.00522 molar, H2O, 0.0552 molar, CO2, 0.095 molar, and H2, 0.195 molar. As a check to see whether we've done the calculation correctly, plug the values back into the equilibrium expression and see if the value is close to the given value for K. When we do this, we get 64 equals 0 0.095 times 0 0.195 divided by 0 0.00522 times 0 0.0552. This is equal to 64.3. This is close enough because the value of K is only good to two sig figs, since the concentration of CO2 is only good to two sig figs.